going on this walker man i'm in the floor of the shop good thing i swept it right all right all right the old boat i got the side running boards done but i need to do the bottom i'm just gonna do a little scrap piece right here some cut off from the sides uh I need to get you some pressure treated timber which i done cut the peel the stickers off a lot yellow wood you know, whatever is pressure treated so the water don't rot it just quick. And, you know, them boards on that boat lasted 30 years. And it don't cost much more. It's good stuff. You're going to need you a scale. That right there would be a scale. Or a roller. Some people call them rollers. I call them scales. Of course, I see why you say scales. That's what you weigh on. But anyway. I got this right here. Sea Sense. Amazon. 12 inch wide. About 12 foot long. Marine carpet. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, I read some reviews on it. Some folks liked it, some folks didn't. I have not posted a review, but I like it so far. What I do, take the scale, try to find the center of this carpet. Now you want enough to, see if you can see what I'm doing here. You want enough to pull over about two inches. You see that right there, where you can lap over two inches, roughly? That's what you want. Now, I'm still doing this by phone. Like I said earlier, folks watch this, I'll improve my video. And if they don't, I'm going to do it by phone, because this is okay. It's a lot better than work. But anyway, that two-inch lap over will be about four and a half inches on the end. The time it laps over on that 2 by 4 like so. I don't know if it's showing upside down or not. But anyway, four and a half inches, that's what you want. That's what I want. That's how I do it. Everybody does it different. And it's worked out for me, so I'm going to keep doing it like this. Boy, y'all can't see nothing. I apologize. I really do. Let's slide back just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> All right, four and a half inches. Oh, yeah, you're gonna need some of that. See that right there? That's weld wood. It's glue in a can and it's sticky. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, peanut butter or crunch. It don't smell like it, but kind of looks like it. Putty knife. And I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. Anyway, back to our measuring here. Now this right here is 12 inches wide. Remember, it's 12 inches wide by 12 foot long. So you got four inches, or roughly four and a quarter. That'd be, that'd be what you want. Give or take a few. All right, we're good there. That's black carpet, you can't write a Sharpie on it because I tried it and I couldn't see where I wrote and I was lost. So I figured one out a white paint pen, right? Right. You ain't got to get a whole lot of paint flowing. But I guess some, somewhere on the beach. Anyway, you ain't got to get a whole lot of paint flowing. But just mark it on the sides, lay it down where you can see, and on the end there. Can you see that? You can see that. You can see where that laid, right? Right. Find your center down here. Now we're at four and a quarter. Oh, yeah, that's great when you get a bowed board. That end I cut off because it was bowed. Kind of aggravating to work with, but it'll be all right. We'll make do. We'll just do that. Then we can find a four and a quarter again. Like I said, it's roughly, it's close enough, four and a quarter on 12 inches wide. You're going to be close enough. And just mark it, per se, as so. I like to bring the line all the way down, both ends. That way, when you put your peanut butter on there, you can see where you is at. I've already marked this end. We've got plenty down here right at eh, four and a half. We'll trim it. Now, what I like to do, take the scale, I'm sorry, the ruler, lay up against that two by four right here. 
if you can see that or not. That phone's in the file. But mark on the inside. That continues your line on out, so when you come back and cut it, you know where you're at. Do that on both sides. Scissors, right back. I left them up here, as usual. Hey, and, and by the way, I was just thinking this. Some of y'all might not have a scale. Or a ruler, whatever you want to call it. That is a tape measure. It does the same thing. You can pull it off four and a quarter, four and a quarter, and get you a straight edge. You can use another short piece of two by four. I like to use that because it's thin, but you can use another piece of two by four, stick up against it and mark it, you know, to the inside. That gives you your lines out. Your scissors. Mark that line. Cut that line you just marked. Mark the line you just cut. Really? I ain't even drank no Mountain Dew today. And I can't talk, right? And trim it right to the end of the two by four. All right? I'm going to bring this over here so you can see what I'm talking about. I think you can anyway. Where's it at? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Kind of hard to find here. But anyway, on this end right here, leave you about two inches. Can y'all see that? Yeah, cut about two inches off from that right there. Back. You ain't got to mark it. Just guesstimate it. I'm pretty well guesstimate two inches. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. But anyway, I don't like moving that camera because I don't know if it's flipping or what. I didn't cut the flip flop off of it. Yeah, cut about that much out. Let's measure. It's probably an inch and a half. Yeah, about at two inches. Good eyeball in there. I've worked two inches a lot in a while. But anyway, Do the same on the other. I'll go down here and do that real quick. We're almost done. I'll be right back. Two inches, remember? This camera made me look fat. This big shirt hanging is what it is. Ain't it? All right, now you're ready for the sticky stuff, the sticky peanut butter. Now, as far as your trailer goes, all of them's different. You can pre-drill your holes into your, you know, lumber before you start. Take the old off, just lay it up there, mark it with a sharpie, drill your hole, or you can do like me, just drill through the carpet because you're gonna have to drill through the carpet. After you put the carpet on. But once you got your holes there, you'll know where you're going. Mine mine wasn't that bad. It's fairly simple. But anyway. Did a peanut butter. Oh yeah, that'll fit. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And you make a mess. Just smear that stuff on there, man. Get this over here where you might see what I'm doing there. Just smear it on, you know. Get, you know, it ain't got to be thick. It ain't got to be on there crazy thick. Just enough to get enough to bond to that that wood there, and you'll be good to go. And you can still see your lines through it too. You ain't got to go all the way out to the end because we're gonna put some stuff called staples in it, and then staples will hold it. Plus, you ain't gonna make a mess all over your fingers either. I probably will force over it. That's okay.
Some folks may say you need to put it thick. I don't think you do. That's just my opinion. Of course, you know what opinions are like, right? Yeah. We don't know what opinions are like. Except somebody that's got colon cancer. Does that still... Never mind. Tell you what I'm going to have to do. That's getting on kind of shallow there quick. Why is it going to come out that quick? I got the wrong putty knife. Got one I'd use as a little thinner there. But that's a new jug. I thought they'd work out quicker and more better. Now on the end piece, you might just want to put a little bit in the middle. Just to help hold it while you staple it. Like I said, you ain't got to put a lot of peanut butter on it if you don't want to. I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just mainly in the middle. A little bit on the side. And it should be good to go. And some folks get a bigger, you know, bucket of this stuff. And that putty knife would be perfect. But I didn't get a big bucket because I knew that when I did this, I'd probably be done with it. I wasn't going to spend all that extra money. Hey, I can buy fishing gear with that extra money. I ain't going to spend on something I ain't going to use. All right. Grabs you two by four. I would probably put it with a bow down. Try to find any salon that's not bowed up too bad. Good luck with that. You just press on a little bit, you know? Yeah, just press on. Uh, Y'all ever wrap a birthday present, a Christmas gift? That's what we're going to do next. Where the scissors go? Huh, here they are. You want to grab this right here? Pull it tight. Now, this is a short piece. So it's not that bad. Now a lot of people use a like a hand stapling gun, which that's cool, you know. Amazon had that for like thirty bucks. There's the name of it. Go to Amazon, punch in a I don't know air stapler or something, you know. It'd be on there. Staple gun. It'd be on there. I think it's 30 bucks. Come with a case. The fitting was already in it. And I put some thread tape on it. And it uses T50 staples. It ain't too expensive. And if you're going to do this, trust me, it's worth having it. Because it'll shoot that staple in there good. I always do that on the end there. Kind of hold it while I do this. And just carry you, you know, ever how many you want to put. I go two about every six inches or so. Two on six, two on six. Roll on one, Grandma. Make sure your carpet's good and tight. Now I haven't shot myself in a finger with a staple, and I'm not gonna say yet. Because things happen, I hope I don't. But if I do, I think it's going to hurt. So be careful and don't staple yourself. And if you do, I don't want to know about it. Yeah, that, that would hurt. Pull your other side over. Lap it over. Get all the dust off of it, you know. Pull it over. That glue's pretty good stuff, man. Works pretty doggone good. I like it. Two on six. Roll on one, I think that's staples. Oh, there we go. And you're at the end of the board. Now, cutting that off a little long, it's gonna be a little long. You're gonna have to trim it. You're gonna have to, because if you don't, it ain't going to fit tight and it ain't going to look good. Remember the birthday present and the Christmas present I was talking about? Check this out. See if I can get it on video here. Drop phone down. Ah, oh, so did I start with? Would you look at that? Just look at it. All right. Around these ends right here. Go ahead and pull this one in. See how I tuck that up under? Can you see that? 
Bring this side in. Okay. And take it old staple gun. Watch your finger. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it went. All right. Take your scissors. What I like to do is this right here. Like right at that that crease. I'll take and I'll cut that crease. Don't get too crazy with it though, because when it all comes together, you have your board showing. Cut that crease off. That stuff is pretty sticky. That's some sticky peanut butter. Now see how good and smooth that is? You don't do the same over here. Just bring that dude over. Good and tight. Pop to your staple. One for good measure. I just got peanut butter on my stapler. Oh well, it'll be alright. And do the same right there. Cut that excess off, but not too far on the counter. You'll be showing your board. Alright, this piece here, just pull it on over the top. Good and tight. Pull that dude down good and tight. Just like so. Bam, bam. Now, I like to put one on the end. Right there on the side. Now, you might not. I don't know. But I do. And I put one in the middle for good measure and one in the middle on the end. And there you go. Now, you can see that staple right there, but you turn it and you can't. Boy, look at both of them staples you can't see. That's the foam picking the shiny up. But you do the same on the other side. I'll do one more and then I'll let y'all go. That way y'all can see it. Pull that dude in there. See, she's real long. Instead of fighting all that, I'm just going to give it a haircut. I like to have a little extra. Because I never did trim that side either. That's why I got extra. But I still like to have a little bit of extra. That way you got something to play with. You know? You're too, you're too short and you done messed up. You got a little extra, you can always cut it out. Same's going to be right there. We're going to trim that dude. But just take her and fold her over. The daple. Now let's see how this side worked, how I trimmed it. That's going to be perfect. I'm just going to leave it like that. That won't be too much. Sure it won't. That'll work out pretty good. That's some of that crazy scissoring I did there. Alright, then you fold that over. Put your one there. Put your bam. Put your bang. I'm going to cut that just, you know, because like I said, I don't have to trim it cut about that much out but if you trim it you won't have this you know problem here having to trim it while you're doing it other than those ends i was telling you about a while ago bam 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 ching bada bing and there you go man there's your brand new dusty <coughs> i just swept this floor what's up with that that's what you get, man. Fully secured. Uh, on my boat, my holes went here. And they went here. Well, actually here and here. You know, pop it all the way through. Put it in your vise or however you need to do it. Pop it through. Stick your bolts through there. And uh, you're good to go. And you got new carpet on your runners. And your boat's going to go on a lot easier and come off easier. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to get out the floor. My knee's hurting. We'll see you later.